Creator's Block. If you haven't heard of Creator's Block, it's like Writer's Block, but worse. It means that you're staring at a blank screen, you got no idea how to start, and you're just procrastinating, scrolling on your phone for hours until the very last minute, and then you cram in all the design work that you need to get done so you can submit whatever your final product is. No more, no more, not today. Creator's Block ends now, it ends here, it ends with this video. I'm gonna show you how to 10X your design workflow, speed up your process a little bit with just two simple steps and two simple softwares so let's dive right in hopefully this helps you out first thing i want to show you is a software called kittle i've got it pulled up here i'm going to start by opening an artboard here we are going to today make an instagram story so i'm going to choose the instagram story template and hit create now kittle is a free software it's very similar to canva but it's made more towards designers so canva is made a little bit more for the everyday folk the people People that aren't graphic designers like us and just want a software so that they can make some designs. Kittle is very similar because it's template based, but it has the editing capabilities as vectorizing. It's got a little bit more in depth design tools than Canva. So I've been playing around with it and it's pretty neat, but I think it's particularly helpful for getting over creator's block and just starting somewhere. I've got this Instagram story artboard pulled up. We're going to make like a frame for an Instagram reel. You've probably seen this before. It's a little cheesy, but I think it's going to be good. And it's something that I actually want to use despite it being a little cheesy. Okay, this is kind of what I'm talking about here on the left. I'm going to grab this and drop it into Kittle. There it is. Okay, I do like this. This isn't really what I'm talking about, but it's got the film reel and you could drop little videos in there. And then this one right here is kind of cool. This is a bit more towards what I'm talking about. It's got some elements elements on the side and they're kind of framing this green screen and you can drop in your Instagram reel and then share this on your story. I like that. Let me go on Google. I'm going to grab a couple more. Okay, this one's kind of like the cheesy one that I'm typically talking about. So let's grab this. I'm just going to copy it and then you hit right click, paste that into there and boom. So now I've got a handful of screenshots I've dumped in here. What I like about Kittle's like canvas here is it's called an infinite canvas. It's kind of like Miro board or like free form. You can just dump stuff in here and then and just continue to zoom out and zoom out and zoom out and it goes on forever it doesn't end like illustrator has the dimensions it's got the end of the minecraft world and you can't go any further than that kittle you can just keep dumping stuff so speaking of dumping stuff into kittle on the side they have templates like you probably imagine so i'm gonna go to the instagram stories template here and just grab a couple of these this one looks cool with this soda can like it's not quite you know a reels frame but i can Definitely get some inspiration from that. I like how they're framing the soda can. Oh, this one's cool. This is just like we found on Pinterest with the film reel. Okay, so I've dumped some designs in here and now I'm already starting to get over creator's block, guys. Look at this. I've got some inspiration and I've got a couple of ideas just by dumping Pinterest and Google images and then the existing Kittle templates into a board. This is the brand I ended up making in my past video. It's called Charlotte Drone and it's just a local drone photo business. I actually, I, hold on, I've got one right here. It's one of my small ones. It's a mini drone. So they do drone photography. It's it's my business. And if you're in the Charlotte area, you can get some drone photography. But you're probably not, and that doesn't matter. But my point is, this is the brand I made, and I'm going to drop it into Kittle right here. So I just uploaded the SVG files, which are really nice because I can go in here, I could edit the gradient and the colors, but there's no need to do that today. And I've already got a little bit of inspiration just by the way these templates are framed up. So I'm going to take take my big airplane looking icon symbol that I crafted up and dump that in here. And then this is going to be sort of my green screen section for the reel. Okay, so I'm just going to turn that black for now. And uh, now we kind of have our frame already built out. So that's where our big video is going to play. And then I'm going to use the background here and I'm going to make it my gradient that I like. So you can see I've got all my brand colors already in here, which are super helpful. And then I'm just gonna use a linear gradient, grab the eyedropper tool because I'm lazy. Boom, 
Okay, so now we got our background. We got our frame. This is already coming together. I pulled this Mother's Day promo, which might seem a little off. This doesn't really match the vibe, but I literally just wanted this button, this one button. So I'm going to grab this, pull it over here. I like the way this thing looks. Like I said, everything on here is really edible, really nicely. And if I go to my brand kit, I can just grab my font style there and... Uh, change it again to say new real. Okay, this is looking good. Now what I really liked about these inspiration pieces over here from the Kittle templates is like the way that they were framing up the center of like the subject with like these little lemons. Uh, obviously the lemon isn't going to work on my project because mine's about a drone business, but the concept is there. And I appreciate that you can go in here, mess with everything, even change the colors of this like soda can if I wanted to. But what I really like is just the idea of the little elements floating around. So Kittle has an interesting feature here called sets generator. So all you do is you type in like a handful of icons maybe you want. So I'm gonna say a Mavic Pro drone. That's the type of drone specifically. So hopefully it'll make the specific type of drone. I'm gonna say a camera. Let's say plane wing, that's kind of like my icon. And then maybe, maybe I just put like photo and video. And then you go over here and you click on your logo or just whatever inspiration that you want to throw in there. I'm just going to throw in my icon logo since I kind of want my icons to look like that and match it. And then all you have to do is hit generate. That takes a second to load up. Oh, there it is. It's loading up. So already that drone looks perfect. That is the literal drone that I use that you just saw. I like the photo one, the camera, but the drone one's really, I think the only one I need. So I can remove the background one click, super easy. And then the gradient looks sick, but I think there's a little too much gradient going on here no matter where i put it it's a little bit too much gradient but that's okay because i can just hit the vectorize button and just like image trace and illustrator or anything like that you can set this let's say like two colors and hit vectorize and pretty instantly it just turns it into a vector svg i guess now i don't think i want any of the other icons on there i think it would look cool if i just put my logo icon on there so let me drop this sucker there and i'm gonna go in here and since i can i'm just gonna grab this black and hide it and just turn that off that looks much better nice okay and i think this is done this is all i want it to look like this is fine by me this is just is such a simple way to just get going with a design and of course i could put in like a couple more hours worth of work into here i did this in about 13 minutes we've been rolling so this is pretty good for 13 minutes worth of work where i was stuck at a creator's block and now i can just get going and i've got an idea and it looks decent so from here I don't want to work in Kittle anymore because it does have some limitations and I found that it's really helpful to get going in this software and then for kind of more professional designs exporting it out and then messing with it further so I'm going to take this and you can go to the export button up here and just export your artboard as an SVG and hit export boom Let's open this thing up. So I'm opening Adobe Illustrator here, even, even though it's already open, it's opening again, classic Adobe. And boom, this is what it looks like, coming right out of Kittle. It's got the giant freaking plane wing logo sticking out of both sides. That's a good thing. So it didn't crop anything. Everything is exactly as we were making it. Even my SVG logo here is still the same and I can mess with it. And it's inside its own layers. You can edit everything on here, which is great. So I'm going to use this to cut out the background. So I'm just going to grab this thing. Let's ungroup everything. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab the background. And I'm going to use Illustrator's Pathfinder tool. And now we have a transparent background so we can drop that video right in there. Uh, on top of that, I think a little drop shadow would be cool. So I'm going to do a basic drop shadow here. Just copy and paste our frame. Make it black. Going to set it behind there. So there's like a basic looking drop shadow. And then I'm going to add a little Gaussian blur. And now I think that looks really cool. I could keep editing this if I wanted to. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to leave it as it is. Uh, I mean, there's polishing that could be done. Sure. But I'm going to leave it as it is. And we are going to drop it into Premiere and make the reel now. So we can share this on our Instagram story. Here's Premiere opened up. And here is the Instagram reel kind of preview that I want to use. Let's drop our artboard and here now that I found it and now we got this cool looking Instagram 
story for our new reel to promote it. I think it looks really good. Okay, so here is our Instagram page. I pulled up iPhone mirroring on Mac and you could just hit add to story and I've got it pulled up right here next to this mirror guy and then we can click that and it looks pretty good I mean it doesn't look bad at all now the point isn't to be like this is the best design you've ever seen the point of me making this video is I wanted to share how you can get that first draft out this is what to do when you're stuck you don't know what to do and you're just staring at the blank canvas I think an easy workflow is to pull up Kittle start throwing some Pinterest designs in there start using their templates use their little AI to tools and then you get that first draft you can get a little concept that looks like this and you can bring it into adobe and you can spend as much time as you want from there polishing it off editing it and just changing it up this honestly it doesn't look pretty bad and i'm going to be using this little template that i've made moving forward i'm pretty excited to post it let me know in the comments if this was helpful for you and if you're going to try this next time you hit that creator's block. And if you want to use Kittle, they have a free plan, but they also have a paid plan, which is what I was using in the video today. And if you want 25% off of that paid plan, I got a little coupon code in the description. So you can just use the coupon code, get a little discount. And if you liked this video about Adobe and Kittle, you might like my video about Adobe and Canva. You can click on that right here.